Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a question that many developers encounter when working with active jobs. Our viewer wants to know how to inspect a queue before enqueuing a job to check if a job with the same arguments already exists. This is crucial for optimizing performance and avoiding duplicate tasks. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on. To inspect a queue in active jobs before enqueuing a job, we first need to understand how active job manages job queues. Unfortunately, ActiveJob does not provide a built-in method to inspect the queue for existing jobs with the same arguments. However, we can implement a custom solution. One approach is to maintain a separate data structure, like a hash or a database table, to track the jobs you have enqueued. Before enqueuing a new job, check this structure. For example, you could use a Redis store to keep track of the jobs. When you enqueue a job, add its unique identifier to Redis and check it before enqueuing again. In summary, while Active Job does not allow direct inspection of the queue, implementing a custom tracking solution can help you manage job uniqueness effectively. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To inspect a queue in active jobs, you can use a custom method within the active job base class. This implementation currently supports only Sidekick. The method allows you to find jobs by their job ID or by specific arguments. If you provide a job ID, it searches for that job in the Sidekick queue. If no job ID is provided, it iterates through all jobs in the queue, checking for matches based on class and arguments. You can use this method like this. Active base .where j your job ID or my custom job one arg2. Note that this implementation is still a work in progress and may require updates for full functionality. And that's it guys. I hope this video helped get you that answer that you're looking for. Now, I'll see you next time. Please subscribe for more question and answer videos. And if you have any more, please shoot them through in the comments. Have a good one.